One of the training days was conducted at Marine Corps Training Area's Bellows, in which we incorporated not only EUD technicians from the Joint Services, but also Seaburn uh, personnel as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's we incorporated new technology that the Air Force implemented that conducts reconnaissance in a Seaburn environment. Once ordnance was discovered, Marine UD technicians took over the scenario, rendered the chemical ordnance safe, and implemented Seaburn Marines to help them conduct that exercise. On Saturday, we were in concert with Navy UD technicians. A uh, potential adversarial UUV, unmanned underwater vehicle, was discovered. Once the Navy EUD divers raised the UV to the shore, so the Marines on the shore set up an expeditious exploitation location to which they proceeded to conduct radiographic imagery of the item to identify what hazardous components may lie within. Uh, they then proceeded to carefully take the UV apart. So really this was a capstone training event. And essentially what makes this different is that we had scientists, engineers, and DOD forces from across America advancing the joint EOD forces capability to uh, succeed in an EVO environment with the best technology and training possible. So the two main new technologies that we were working towards, one was called Atomica. Essentially what it's capable of is a means to unintrusively detect either explosive or chemical threats within an object through any medium or container. So the second technology we were working towards was a means to modify our dismounted electronic countermeasure system. The purpose of this exercise was to bring different elements across the joint force as well as other government departments to experiment on new technologies and advance the way we operate in a future contested environment. Really